So tell me where we are. We're in the University of Missouri Grape and Wine Institute Analytical Lab. So this is where we take a lot of the samples either from vineyards throughout the state or through our experimental winery and then try and make sense of what's going on through analytical means. So what's happening with all of the underlying chemistry and try and apply that knowledge to what the best practices would be in the vineyard and the winery. And this is an undergrad as well as a graduate program. Yeah, so primarily working in here right now, we've got graduate students, but we'll have undergraduate workers getting experience, especially undergraduate workers helping us in the pilot winery to create samples and also a lot of workers in the vineyard helping us manage the vines and at the same time learning how to grow grapes and make wine. If there had been a winemaking degree when I was in school, I don't think I would have majored in writing or art history. So people in this program and you also, not only are you um, taking wine that's in a bottle and analyzing it, but you're going out into the field and you're hands-on growing the grapes, harvesting the grapes, crushing them, making wine, doing everything. Yeah, we've, we have a lot of people that are working within the Institute that work at the winemaking, the grape growing, the analysis side, because there's certain things that we can do that we can't ask our grower cooperators to do. On the other hand, there's certain projects that it makes complete sense that we go out to one of the established wineries and we say, can we get some samples of how you are doing things? So what is Connie doing? So right now what's happening is we've got wines just being pulled in through a vacuum and then this little cake absorbent is actually pulling out all of the aroma compounds. And then after all of that wine has gone through, we'll actually use a different solvent to remove everything that adhered to that little plug and then have all the aromas in that solvent. For what purpose? Why are you pulling the aroma out? A lot of the work that we do is trying to understand either what's happening in the vineyard, how that impacts flavors or how things that we do in the winery. And it can be very challenging to do some of this work through sensory panels, so people sniffing and tasting. So when possible, what we love to do is be able to essentially put everything into a machine where we can then equate all of the aromas to an individual signal. So I know if we remove leaves at this time during the season, we get more of this aroma compound. So this is the winery? This is the winery. Well, show me around. I'm excited to see it. Thank you. So are you doing the crush here and everything? Do you yeah. bring all the grapes yeah. in? Yes, we have a little bit of a courtyard outside and then we just do all the processing right here. So it's quite an active place in the fall as we try and get everything done. Anyone who is a good winemaker in the Midwest will be a great winemaker anywhere else <laughs> because it's so challenging here. Yeah. I view it as we're trying to prepare people for everything that can happen so that they have solutions no matter what mother nature throws at them that they can make a quality wine. In Missouri specifically the wine industry accounts for a huge amount of just our our state economy mm -hmm. and so many people are employed by this industry so the idea that we can through science mm -hmm. um, impact that industry and the art of what is being produced at these vineyards, I mean, to me, that's really exciting. Yeah, well, and it, it helps everyone. It makes the entire industry both more economically and environmentally sustainable. I could nerd out on wine all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>